Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this isn't going to be the most amazing modded episode, but yeah, so you guys, I have been really going crazy with this mod thing, and uh, I've been having a little bit of problems, and I've really been trying to, you know, work everything out, and, uh, you know, really try to make everything just kind of work together, and, uh, yeah, so you guys can see I'm a little advanced to this mod stuff, I have really been kind of messing around with how the mods work and which ones will play together and which ones do not like playing together oh my god that's not even there we go just line that up that looks awesome so where should I start with this mod list of everything I got well this is kind of the first mod it's a UI mod you can see there's welded over here uh, yeah I gotta fix this flag thing um, I, I do have my flag loaded but it, it yeah whatever so, um, this mod here, I will start covering all of these just kind of one by one. Uh, this is kind of like a UI mod for the VAB, and it kind of separates out your mods. So, you know, you can have your keythane stuff all under one mod with all the tanks and all of the parts and science and, yeah, just all of that. Whoa, there we go, close it. And under this menu here they kind of let you separate everything out and change things and move things around but yeah so I got KSPX installed as well it's really not there's really not a lot to the mod anymore as far as KSPX I've been kind of watching it ever since the very beginnings of this mod and I do know that a lot of the parts that were added in the game over the last couple patches have basically been the KSPX pack. And the only thing that I really have been waiting for is this bad boy right here, which I'll zoom in a little bit. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. And this right here, that is amazing. So that those, those are the kind of two parts I really have been just absolutely dying to use this is another one that I saw and I thought was kinda interesting but I don't know if I'll ever actually use it it's basically just a really really big uh, nuclear engine so it I don't know how much I really care about that and this is uh, you know another thing it's like a three tank I don't know really what you wanna call it like a three white tank or a one and a half uh, silver tank and another 200 this one holds I think 200 is it oh 375 it's like a half tank there which that is kind of helpful that will actually help out with a lot of things here so I will jump down to port works and this is a newer mod I believe I'm not really 100% sure on how new these mods actually are but this one is actually pretty awesome I was messing around with it before as well and it adds a few separate things one of them is an inflatable storage tank here I need something to attach it to to be honest and then they also have the spinny uh, centrifugium uh, yeah centrifugium -ium. yeah yeah we'll call it that Oh, God, I'm so used to clicking the gear here. Uh, let's see. And, the, uh, and KAS, which was something that you guys were really telling me to get. I still don't understand KAS. Uh, certain things I just don't really get. There, there are a few more things I will be adding as time goes on. This is going to be kind of the breakdown of all the mods already I've added and I've really gotten to work together. And this one is called Surface Lights. Now, it really isn't too great. I mean, there are certain things that I thought were kind of cool about it. But basically, it's just kind of a mod to add extra lights to your craft, to different kinds of lights. And I was mostly kind of interested in these little small guys here. These are actually kind of cool looking. Um, we don't really get the best. It, it really isn't the best with this... Uh, big freaking tank here but yeah that that 
these little lights are kind of cool and I, I figured it'd be something worth adding once again this is the uh, ISA map set mod here we still got all this stuff I think the GPS unit is bugged in this in my game or something I don't know and um, I added the aviation light mod as well and I'll I'll kind of just slap on oh god where is it there we go yeah see there's still a little bit of bugs with this uh, I don't even know what you want to call it command module whatever but it's kind of a really cool looking command module considering most of them really aren't like that so you can see we got all our aviation lights I'm just going to go outside I don't need red why are all these red there we go blue there we go that looks awesome so let's get out on the launch pad real quick now i am been pretty excited about this mod stuff the one thing I've been waiting for is the welding mod which I will cover in like two seconds but you can see with this uh, you can basically inflate this and uh, with the other one you can inflate it as well I just haven't yet I haven't really messed around with that one as much but you can inflate this and rotate it that is freaking awesome but it looks like that is rotating as well let's turn on the SAS just to stop that doesn't appear to be using any electrical charge maybe this thing is an SAS equipped I don't know yeah I don't think this is to be honest it should say uh, the reaction wheels I don't see anything like that but we'll check we'll turn on these lights here uh, each one of them is a different color it's not like the colors actually you know it, it shows like a blue but when you turn it on it's just a white light you know you can get red blue green or whatever color yeah it, that it's just amazing I I've been really messing around with this a lot and let's see if we can do this I don't know I'm gonna stop this real quick I gotta stop it like right at the perfect time apparently I can't stop this I, I don't know maybe I'm just not looking at it right or doing this right yeah, no. Um, EVA. Let's see if I can get him down here. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. This isn't good. Get up, Bill. Get up. Oh, God, it's coming. Ye oh, wow. Yeah. Jump. Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, so we'll revert the flight. Basically, you can do an IVA. Let's see. I'll, whoop, wrong one. We'll go back here. There we go. We'll do an IVA in here, and basically, you can look around inside. I don't know if this is supposed to be is there because of another mod, but yeah, that that doesn't really show very much. But yeah, this is just like a big cylinder or no cylinder, big sphere on the inside and. I don't see anything out the windows. Eh, whatever. We'll revert the flight, get back to the VAB. Now, let's see here. There was another thing. Oh yeah, the welded portion. Uh, where are all of my things? Let's see. Go to load. Let's just load something. I don't know what's going on here. That is not good. Oh, yeah. No, there we go. I, I figured out what was going on. Uh, let's see. Now, this weld it thing, I am a little skeptical of. Now, for those of you who don't have the weld it thing, you can't really download it right now. It hasn't been updated since uh, 0.22, but on the forums, somebody actually fixed it a little bit just so it works. So I don't know how well it actually works or when the new update is going to come out for that or anything like that. So please just definitely don't ask me anything about as far as like anything involving this specific mod because I don't know when they are going to fix it. But basically weld it, what it will do is, let's see, this is, this is the M200... 
Eye beam. Okay. So this one will... You basically can take like two parts here, and then you can weld them together. And, you know, I'll just call it, um, M I beam extended. And, uh, this thing right here will basically just combine parts together. It will take two parts in the game that are con something that will be considered two parts, or even if it's like 10 or 20 or 50 parts, and combine them to create just one part out of however many parts you put together now there are some things that just don't work so I will definitely state that I'm not a hundred percent sure on what parts will work and what parts won't but the one thing I've noticed is that a lot of these parts once you've welded them the only way for them to actually show up is when you actually uh, restart your game and I, I haven't been able to find a workaround for that it's basically the mod has been modded it's a it's a mod for the game that's been modded by somebody on the on the forums because of the fact that it's not updated so there are some problems with it otherwise I'm just not doing it right uh, I'm I'm probably leaning towards I'm not doing it right but that that's just me let's see uh yeah, I don't see it in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. So this is going to come handy because I got a few things I want to build. And, uh, you know, this modded series will carry on from here. I guarantee you that. So the one thing I'm going to tell you guys right now is we only have just a few more hours left of the build-off. So after 12 o'clock tonight, I will not be accepting any more dot craft files or anything like that i'm sorry for those of you maybe who weren't able to build a craft in the entire week but i will not extend the period for anybody so if you haven't gotten your craft in do that now it january 7th is when it's ending 2014 so obviously people who are watching in the future or you know today it in about four hours it's done so Anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.